Hey, what's up guys? Dustin here with the Arkansas CW, and I'm here with Sky Borgman, and she is the director on a film called Abducted in Plain Sight. And uh, I know that this is kind of goes in line with some of the, the true crime type shows and, and movies. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit about this film. So this film uh, has been five years in the making for me. And it's a story, a true story, about a young girl who was kidnapped by the family's best friend and neighbor twice. And we really, through the documentary, delve into how a family and how, how a predator really can infiltrate a family. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, I mean, you said it was five years in the making. Mm -hmm. So is it because of the actual story or, you know, what, what kind of... Yeah, a lot of it is because of the story. Um, we, we spent about the first year doing interviews, and we also got a lot of research material, um, a lot of court transcripts, FBI documents, audio recordings, and it took us a while to kind of get through all of those documents, mm -hmm. and, and we were, you know, it turned into much more of an investigative journey than we had initially thought, mm -hmm. because there was a book, and we read the book, and that's how the story came out, and then when we found went out and found all of this extra material, there was a lot more information that we hadn't known about before. So a lot, a lot of stuff in the film that doesn't appear in the book. And, and so that took us a while, and then we went out and re-interviewed people after that because of all this information we had learned. And then we really spent about a year and a half editing, mm -hmm. um, which is a long time, uh, but it was so helpful because um, it's such difficult subject matter mm -hmm. that there definitely got to be a point for me when I had to take a break from it and then dive back in and really focus on the editing and then take another little break from it when we were sort of near finishing it and so it was great to be able to have that time to really definitely. mine the material and and just sort of personally take care of ourselves too. yeah yeah and, and that's definitely what I was you know kind of interested in knowing if, if having a topic like this was a little bit tougher as far as going through the entire process and, and you know also all the extra research that you have to go into in order to, to get it prepared, right? Yeah, it's incredibly difficult because what was really fascinating to me was when I stopped feeling, you know, when I would be editing and, and we would just start talking about these terrible, tragic, awful events mm -hmm. and I wouldn't feel anything anymore and I'd go home and I was like, oh my gosh, I've, I've lost all of my humanity. And, and that's when I really knew that I needed to, to kind of take a step back yep. and get some perspective. Definitely. And, um, and I'd, never, I'd never felt anything mm -hmm. like that before, that numbness. And that was really, really kind of interesting to me. Yeah, I could, Im I could imagine that it would be. Yeah. All right, so Film Festival, I know it's your first time here. I know mm -hmm. you've only been here like less than a day, but, right? but thoughts so far? <laughs> I mean, I love it so far. It's been, it's been incredible because it's, 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 I love this inclusive environment. I love the diversity. I love the whole mission of this festival. Um, and, and that to me is important. It's something that I feel like in the last couple of years has really, I mean, I think that, that Gina Davis has been banging her head against this for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And it feels to me like at this point in time, we're actually kind of moving around the bend and headed in another direction. Mm -hmm. I think this festival is a huge part of it. I think Gina is a huge part of it. And I think just everything happening in Hollywood right now is a huge part of it. And all of those things, it's like this perfect storm of events kind of coming together mm -hmm. and hopefully, hopefully changing the face of the film industry. Definitely. Okay, awesome. So as far as learning more about the film, social media, website, how can people find out more? Yes, our website is abducteddoc.com, and that's our, our social media on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's all Abducted Doc. So please okay. come join it for our mailing list. We don't send out a ton of emails. We just kind of keep you informed. Mm -hmm. um, it's an important film, and so it, it would be great if people were following us. Definitely. Yep. So make sure to find them on social media, find them on their website, check them out, and watch the film. Mm -hmm.